What's the deal? It's the Wave Brothers, man. Today we're showing you our morning method and what we do to maintain our hair in the morning. So we have a coarse hair waver, which is me, and we have a medium hair texture, which is my Wave Brother. Now, we're gonna show y'all what we do to maintain. Still, y'all, it's a Bucci, the medium mixed waver. I'm gonna tell y'all what I do when I get up in the morning for my morning method. First off, what you wanna do as soon as you get up in the morning, you wanna go in that bathroom, you wanna grab that mirror, and you wanna grab that brush, and you wanna start stroking. Take the rag off. Don't even mind trying to look at your waves. It's business, it's serious time. It's brush session time. It's always brush session, first of all. But first thing, let me tell y'all. In the morning, you wanna get up, you wanna brush your hair. For a good 30 minutes straight, you want to get a good brush session because your hair is stiff and it's been in that wave cap for hours since you've been asleep. You feel me? So you want to get up and you want to brush through it. You want to get you a good brush session all around 360, my 360 wavers or whatever type of waves you got. You want to get up and you just want to brush. As you in the mirror, as you brushing and as you as you hitting every stroke and every angle, you want to make sure you hitting it right. You want to make sure you hitting every angle and every way right, because you could cause that. You don't want that in your hair. You know what that is, right? A fork. You don't want no forks in your hair. You want your hair to be nothing but wavy and laid down. And you want the waves going the right way you want them to go. Like I have a 360, I have 360, and I'm trying to work on my swirl. So lately, I've been trying to get that swirl and trying to transform that back, because it's not used to being brushed like that. So you got to get your hair trained. It's like a dog, but I wouldn't, say my hair is like a dog, but it's like, you know how you train your dog and you start training and it starts doing certain things that you trained it to do? That's what I'm talking about. You start training your hair, you start training your hair to start start forming and start going certain ways because the ways you're forming it to go. You could have any crown, you could have any type of waves. It's all about how you brush it. You could have sideway waves, back waves. You could have any type of waves. It's all about how you brush your hair and how bad do you want it. So like I told you, you want to get in that mirror and I have 360 waves. So I'm really hitting on the 360. I'm really trying to hit up that 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 um that swirl and trying to get it swirly. But yeah, you want to make sure you're hitting it. Mm, mm. Get you a good brush session in. And if you have any grease in your hair, don't apply more grease. But if you don't have no grease in your hair, say you just woke up and you, you did a washing style or you just haven't really been putting grease in your hair and your hair needs a little bit of grease. You want to get a little bit of grease. You want to put something in. You want to lay it down real good and you want to get that brush session in so you can brush through the grease and the, the um the grease could go through all through your hair because you're brushing it and you're brushing it the angles and you're brushing it the correct way that's what you really want to do so if you don't got grease add a little bit if you already got grease don't worry about it just brush you want to get your good brush session in brush then you want to brush your teeth as well. You want to get all the brushing out the way as possible. You want to get this session done and you want to get your teeth done. Get sessions done, you feel me? These brush sessions are very important for your head and your teeth. But anyways, get that good session in and then you want to wrap up. Wrap up real tight. No matter of fact, you want to hit it with a plastic bag just to lay down any frizzy hair. The plastic bag method really comes in handy. That's, all, that's also, we made a video about that. It'll be in the link plastic bag really comes in handy because you lay down any fuzzy hair and any hair that's up. Get you a good plastic bag method. Then you want to get your do-rag. Lay it down. Tie it up real tight. Make sure it's compressed. Make sure it's on tight. Make sure it's not too tight. But make sure it's on and make sure it's Let's tight. say you wake up late and you didn't get a brush session in in the morning because you woke up too late and it's already after 12 or it's in the afternoon but you just woke up and you still want to get that morning session in like normally for me i normally wake up late for work or something or probably i wake up late because i was up last night getting a deep brush session in getting a good brush session in and i was just so tired in that mirror trying to get them connections right make that crown come in i laid my hair down went to sleep and i woke up in the morning and now i'm ready to take my wave cap off and get a good brush session in so oh wait it's already too late for me to get a brush session in, in the morning because I'm already running late. So what I do is I apply some of this product right here. You know, this is not a paid promo either. I just apply some of this product because it worked real good. That's the reason why we always recommend y'all to get this. It's a good oil and make your hair real healthy. I apply this in my hair, you know, apply it all around, spray it. Cause we got the spray can, right? Spray it in my hair just like that, you know, put that in my hair. And then I get a quick brush session in the mirror or if I can't get in the mirror and I'm in the car, or I'm walking down the street, depending on what you're doing, where you gotta go, 
you got to get that brush session. That's why it's key to learn your angles, like my way brother was saying, because you don't want to gain forks. So you can also use your phone to get a brush session in. You look like that. If you learn your angles, you can get a brush session in with the camera just like that. Just look out the corner of your eye while you're walking down the street. Use the mirror while you're in the car, anything. Either way it go, if you dedicate it and you want to get these waves and you want to become an elite waver, you have to be consistent. You have to get your breast session in no matter what. I don't care if I woke up late for school. I don't care if I woke up late for work. I don't, whatever you waking up late for, even if you just woke up late because it's the weekend and you was getting a breast session in or you was out hanging out with the fellas or you know, if you're a girl waiver and you was out hanging out with your girls and you want to come get a breast session in, you got to be consistent. You got to wake up. What I do is I use the oil right here. Spray it in my hair, give it a nice natural shine. I'm ready to go. My hair is moisturized because I sprayed this in my hair. It's nice and moisturized and all that. So I spray it in my hair, get a brush session in. Oh, what's the deal, YouTube? <laughs> hey, don't mind the hat. I'm on my Sir Cruise tip right now. But look, anyways, the morning method. I hope you guys have everything down that I just said in the video. I'm going to repeat myself again. Like I said, first thing in the morning, you want to get up. You want to look in that mirror. Don't look at your waves. Look at the mirror. Then you want to get that brush session in. Don't worry about your waves. You just want to make sure you're hitting them. You feel me? The right angles. Hit them all around. 30 minutes straight. Brush session. And like I told y'all from the beginning, if you got grease in your hair, don't worry about adding grease. If you don't have grease and you light on grease, add a little more grease. After you add the grease, what you do next? Pick up your brush. I say 20 minutes strong. I'm telling you, waves, it's really, it's all about consistency. If you're consistent, you're gonna have waves. It, it, like if you're not really taking care of your hair, but you're brushing a lot, it's gonna be a good side, there's gonna be a bad side. Cause you're gonna have the waves, but your hair is not gonna be healthy. So it's not, you feel me? Two and two kind of don't go together. So you need both. You need healthy hair and you need to brush like all the time. Like everybody asks how you get waves how you change your texture. You can't really change your texture, but you can kind of change your wave texture, how your waves look. Cause I noticed my wave brother, he's a coarse hell waver and he has nappy hair, let's be honest. But I seen his hair change from so much from him brushing and putting in that work. It looked like he's a medium texture or he's mixed or something because his hair is changing. It's starting to get that nice smooth laid down curls. You feel me? Cause waves already laid down curls. His hair is starting to transform and it's starting to look real nice, smooth, and silky. So I recommend you guys really putting a lot of time into your brush. And if you don't have no good brush, I say you invest in a brush. 